welcome i'm going to attempt to vlog today i'm going to try not to do too much so that i don't wear myself out um but i have a lot of packages guys and i really really want to go through them let me show you the situation that i am dealing with right now so these are most of the packages that have come in recently some of them i don't even know where they are from um some of them i want to talk about in detail or give you guys a detailed like review on in upcoming videos so, but the ones that i don't have to talk about in upcoming videos some of the things that i even ordered from amazon i'll talk about now the lighting here is not so great. I, I guess maybe because it's evening and I have a lot of things here to be honest I don't think that I'll actually be able to unbox all of these like I had to pull some things out of the office that I even forgot were there. So Let's do this. I'm going to start with this gift box here right it's from a brand called Personalized Heaven and it says dim 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 school dims I've said this like word for word before this looks very very thoughtful so let me just open it up uh, by the way i just want to say that i really really love the packaging i love how they just placed everything i love the colors teal is my favorite color you guys know so there are cards in here this picture i took in london in 2017 um it's on my instagram and it says thoughtfully made by personalized heaven and um, hello Dima. it's such an honor to give to you this package it was thoughtfully made with you in mind from the color tones to each specific item you see they actually thought of the tail because i love tail so much oh my god thank you for always speaking on difficult topics encouraging us to be the best versions of ourselves and being an unapologetic feminist lots of love from personalized heaven oh my gosh thank you so much guys okay so first i have this um glass here it says that Igbo chick um if you've been following me from day one you know that i started out as that Igbo chick and actually not dimma i changed my name to dimma only in 2017 um i have these here very nice i think that these are dry dry flowers like dry like i don't know what these are called but you guys know what these are i'm sure that i'll find a way to put them to good use there's a bowl here especially made for dimma's yummy treats look at that guys this is a proper engraving it's not just paint it's a proper engraving guys just so that you guys know oh guys Ugh. This is so beautiful. And then this, there's this mirror. Look at this mirror. It has my name on it. And this will easily fit in my bag. And I love the color. I love the fact that it's rose gold. There is this box here. This is the last item, I think. So I think I have... I'm not quite sure what this is, so... Guys, <laughs> I think I'm going to cry. Oh my gosh. Um, these are some of like... I just like looked at the back and I... There's this picture of me and my mom on my Instagram. Um, they printed it out. And these are high quality prints. And there's this picture with me and Chimamanda. I remember after I posted it, a lot of you actually told me to print this. They actually print... What's wrong with this door? They actually printed it out for me. <laughs> Guys, open for a surprise. So this is me. I think I opened this wrong because I think that the last two pictures with my mom and Chimamanda were supposed to be the last ones. There's this one of me. These are all from my Instagram. There's this one. This is one of my most liked pictures on Instagram, by the way. You guys really did like this picture. There's this one. Um, there's this one that I took in Kenya back in 2019. There's this one. There's this one that I took in Italy back in 2019. Uh, and open for a surprise. The last two pictures with my mom and Tina Amanda. Thank you so much. This is such a thoughtful um, gift. And they actually do this for people, I believe. Um, if you want to send something to someone for a birthday or when they're celebrating, anything whatsoever, I think you can reach out to them and they'll curate a box for the person. I love the amount of thoughts that has gone into this. And more than anything, it's just the quality of the printing that you have on certain items, um, the engraving that you have on some. 
this is so well done so so well done i'm going to have your details in the description box the next one that i have here is a birthday present i actually started asking there's some things here that i know that are presents but i'm not quite sure who sent them and i'm hoping that some people would show themselves after this video. These are actually, after drilling some people, I found out that this is from my assistant. By the way, guys, FYI, I literally have the best assistant in the world right now. I'm not even like joking. Like she's like, we have very good chemistry. I love her. And she sent me these and these are shoes. I haven't opened them yet so let's see what type of shoes they are so from a brand called souls and shades right don't know anything about them this is my first time seeing this brand but i believe that they are a nigerian brand ah it says happy birthday Dima. so inside like this i really love the packaging i love attend you guys know i love when brands pay attention to detail flat yay you guys know that i love flats i am a flats girl so and this color this baby pink i think it's so cute and it goes so well with the jacket that i have on right now love she knows me so well my sister knows that i am not a heels a hell person okay this is the second one she got me two pairs do you know how i found out she was like asking me loki oh did you by any chance get any package from xyz and i was like madame were you the one she was like yeah she was the one so this one has um a shoe bag yep and this one is white right always like white shoes i don't have as much of them as i think that i should actually white flats i don't even think i have any proper white flats so thank you is there for darling the next thing that I have here is a phone. This was a present as well. Let me tell you guys, I did not change my phone. If you guys noticed, I didn't change my phone last year because I just felt like I had more important things to do with my money. And with this one, Steph, I don't even know how I feel. I'm so grateful because this phone is expensive. But the thing is, I was hoping to upgrade with the new one coming in September. I'll probably just trade it in and I don't know what I would do. But then I didn't think that I'll get a new iPhone this late in the year or this close to a new release. I would say this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I've already said thank you personally to the person who got this for me, but I have a new iPhone. <laughs> so thank you again. Okay, you know yourself. So the next thing here, I ordered myself. You guys know that I love Kiki Foodies and she recently opened an Instagram account called Kiki's Favorite Things where she sells random things. I watched one of her videos on Instagram. So she had this contraption. That's what I'll call it because I had never seen something like this before. So it's like this. I know that this may look weird to some of you. I don't know. But oh, this, this is dented. Oh gosh, guys, this thing was delivered with a dent. I'm actually just seeing it. I hope it doesn't affect the way that this would work. I saw her using this. I think I'm still going to ask to figure out how this works. Like she used it to see flour and I bake a lot. So when I bake and I'm trying to see flour, I have to do this with the big version of this that I have. And I think that that takes time. The way she used this was so quick and she did it really quickly and it sieved everything. So next thing here is I know someone who was coming back from the States um recently and i ordered two snack boxes so there are these things called crave boxes i think they sell on amazon and you pay about maybe 20 or 30 dollars and they send you about 60 healthy snacks um i'm always looking for something to munch on but then i'm also very like particular about it being healthy i don't want to just eat anything these days so this is the first crave box this is a smaller one this one came with about 30 snacks and um, I already took like two snacks out of this, but we have just different things in here. There are cookies, there's popcorn, there are um, fries, healthy fries, peanut butter, wanting, wanting. Guys, I don't want to do any, any type of heavy lifting. So I already opened the smaller one. This is the bigger one, right? I haven't opened this one yet. This one has about 60 snacks, I believe. This was the bigger, more expensive one. And I think I paid about $30 for this one. And I think that that's a good deal because considering how much you get these things, like these snacks individually here in Nigeria, this is a good deal, I would say. This is the bigger one. 
just to give you guys an example you guys can see things like it says 100 calorie pack like everything in here is mostly under 200 calories most of the time less than 170 calories i would say there's even a pringles in here interesting this was actually how i discovered popcorners for the first time because i ordered one of these boxes via someone who was coming back to nigeria early last year before the lockdown and one of the boxes had popcorners and that's how i found popcorners and fell in love there's this peanut butter um peanut butter like nature's valley the regular crunchy nature's valley uh nature valley sorry oats and um, granola bars i don't like them as much as i like that peanut butter one so if you know where i can get um peanut butter nature valley here in lagos um please let me know so the next thing that i have here is from huda beauty i'm hoping that this is the glow product the ones that were launched recently everybody who i know in nigeria here and even in sa in africa who is on huda beauty's pr list they've received these so i'm hoping that this is it yay it's their glowish so this is um i would say kind of tinted moisturizers with bronzers they were released for the summer you know just less makeup more glowy skin these are the highlighters and these are the tinted moisturizers. I'm just hoping that I got the correct shades that I would need. Okay, so comes with two brushes. Yeah, two brushes, right? These are the highlighters. So straight out of the boxes, they look like this. The one thing that I would say though is that I, I don't know for some reason, all the pictures that I have seen, they looked way more shimmery than they actually look. These are actually powders, like legit matte, yeah, I'll say matte powders with shimmer in them. So it's not all, um, it's, they're not highlighters per se. I thought that they were highlighters for some reason. They're actually powders, like multi use powders, I'll say. Some of this one I definitely use as a bronzer. This one I would use to set my face all over. So I'm really excited. I'll try these and I'll tell you guys what I think. So these are the tinted moisturizers or the glowish products, I would say. I'm definitely this. This deep tan is what will most likely be my shade. The other two are a lot darker. Just squeeze the deep tan out. Yeah, deep tan is most definitely... I hope it's not going to be too dark for me. It's a bit on the red side, but you guys can see that it's very close to my skin tone. And it actually gives you decent coverage. Like, Huda Beauty hardly ever, like, disappoints when it comes to things like this. So, I'm really, really excited to try this. I are, like I got some lashes from a brand called Wink Lashes. Right? A Nigerian brand. Um, I just ordered these off of Instagram. So I ordered this from Amazon. These are um, ice cube trays and they have covers. I have one, but then it's very small and it doesn't like give you a lot of ice cubes. These I got from Amazon. I'll have them linked in the description box. Um, I got, there's this double-sided tape thing that I got. So it looks like this, but like I got quite a lot. Um, I actually wasn't expecting it to be this much. So these things are, perfect for when you're wearing like a deep plunging neckline or let's say like when you're wearing something that the sleeve keeps popping off or you're wearing something that you just want it to stay put any type of outfit that you want to stay put it looks like this this one is really cute because it comes in this packaging and you can just throw this into your handbag sorry guys i'm going to get my hair done very soon i just looked at myself in the viewfinder and i was like you look like you don't have plans of leaving your house in the next month so like i said it comes in this you open it up and then you have um the tapes in here right they're called fashion tapes but they're actually known as like double-sided tape so this is what they lo it looks like um so just an example right so you peel it off and it looks sticky so i'm going to stick this on my hand like this I just wiped product off of my hands and that, that tinted moisturizer was a, was a bit oily. I'd highly recommend that if you're going to be using this that you don't apply any type of heavy moisturizers in the area where you'll be applying it. But then what you will now do is you peel off this, right? And you peel off this other end. So this part will adhere to what 
ever you can see that it's not even easy to pull my hand out whatever fabric and just with that you see it gets your dress or your outfit to stay put so i really like that um i got two books um one is butter honey pig bread i'm sure that i could have easily gotten this from a bookstore here in lagos but then since i was getting stuff from amazon i just added it to my cart so this is um butter honey pig bread by francesca equiasi looks like this jola has been going on and on and on and on about this book for weeks now she even sent me a text message and she was like Dima, go and buy butter honey pig bread i was like okay i'm gonna buy it and then this is the latest book by rupi car it's called homebody i hope i pronounced that right but rupi is one of my favorite um authors when it comes to poetry i really love her poetry i know that some people tend to make fun of it but i really like her poetry i've seen some people making fun of her work on twitter and i'm like can you people rest i got two bottles for water i think i was telling you people recently did i or did i not say that maybe in the previous vlog vlog sorry that i was running out of bottles for water so i normally get glass bottles from Miniso and the last ones that I got I think one of them broke and I had to give some of them away So I decided to get new bottles from Amazon And added it to the order of the person who said they could help me bring stuff back. So These two bottles I got I love the fact that they are matte and it just automatically looks like the water inside is Cold well, even if it's not cold. So there are like markers like showing different times on the sides like 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. it tells you to refill you refill again and then it starts counting from 2 p.m. to about 6 p.m. so just kind of encourages you to drink water by the hour and actually drink a certain amount every hour I think that that's very cool I don't have problem drinking water water is actually one of my favorite things to drink but I know that some people struggle um, with drinking water and most of the time they find it easier when they feel like they've achieved something when they drink a certain amount so if you're one of those people then maybe check these out i'm going to have them linked in the description box you guys didn't tell me that my head wrap was falling off i just did like this thing fell off from my head so the next thing that i have here is for ice as well i got this from amazon so they're very very big um ice trays that you would use to get like very big ice cubes if you want i've seen a couple of people using this on social media even on tiktok so i decided to get it so looks like this it's two in one I also got some ice cream molds to be honest I didn't expect them to be this small these are very very small I wanted to see if I could do DIY ice cream comes with some sticks but these are very small may not look it on, on camera but they are very small I manage it like that I ordered some stuff from a brand called Brandlistry. Uh, it's a brand that you can order makeup items from the UK and they send your stuff down to Nigeria here for you. Um, I'm actually going to talk to you guys about this brand in detail. But then they reached out to me to work and I tend to do this a lot. You guys know when it comes to brands that I possibly would end up working with. So if it's a service provider, I like to use a service for myself. If they sell products, I like to use the products for a long time before coming here to recommend it to you guys. And I would never recommend anything that after I have tried, I did not like. Does my head look weird? No. So they reached out to me and sent me some stuff. But I was like, this is actually a very cool service. Let me actually order from them and see. And on their website, it says that your items will get to you within a week. And there were things that I really, really needed to get from very specific brands. And I ordered from them and my items have come. I'll explain how this service works in an upcoming video. But just this very quick haul of the things that I got. Everything I'm showing you guys here, I bought with my money. Um, I got a NARS foundation. This is a new soft matte foundation that NARS came out with sometime this year. I was so happy that I could just easily get it through this website. I got the new Too Faced Bond This Way Matte. I have the regular Bond This Way, but I don't have Bond This Way Matte. And I got a new shade, um of the Too Faced uh, multi-use concealer. I have like two shades which I don't quite like. I got one small got to be gel gel. Um, I also got this very small size of the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This particular one is new. It's the shade I would say is new because the translucent is the one we've had for a very long time. But this one is translucent honey, right? And it has some yellow 
and you guys know that i love my laura messier transition setting powder i use it a lot the regular one i also got um nas radiant creamy concealer in the shade walnut right i used to use amand a lot um and i think that um, um this is just a couple of shades lighter than amand so yeah i have new makeup i'm excited so i have a package here that i'm not quite sure that i know where it's from it says it's from kfa monogram okay so guys that package was actually from youtube i just took it out of the carton and i'm seeing creators 360 So, hello so there was this an um, event that um, YouTube did it was um, um, an online event that we all attended so can you guys see it says Dimaomi on it thank you YouTube thank you very much um, so the next item that I have here I don't know who it's from um, but it says Baiti modern home goods and it smells nice that's the first thing that i'll tell you guys this package smells so nice i don't even know what is inside but let's see it says remember that the happiest people are not those getting more but those giving more that's a very nice quote so there's a card here it says we hope you love the selection you are a brand we love xoxo there is no name here it says thank you and there's this very cute write-up ah guys this wood smells so nice i'm sure that the wood is not the reason wood tends to absorb like scent if you leave wood in a very a place that smells a certain way it will absorb the scent and let me tell you this smells so freaking nice this is a beautiful stand and i can this this will come in handy for hosting guests i believe um it will even serve as a very good cake stand for the cakes that i tend to um bake here guys this brand i'm going to look them up immediately if this is a nigerian brand then well done oh my gosh i have this cute plate here guys eesh, these are the type of things that i love Baiti modern home goods the quality of these plates look at so beautiful and i have three of them here i was sent three ah Second one and third one. Oh my gosh, who sent me these? Ah, okay, 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 okay. This is not even, this smells so nice, but that's not the reason why this packaging smells this good. So there's a scented candle here, Sensational Storm, number six. It looks really nice. So this is everything that I've got in this particular box. So the next package here is from Les La Rose. It says the Ashebi box. I'm going to see if there's a card in this one. So this one says self-care kit. Right? There's fabric. Oh, I know who this is from. Oh, Mira. Oh. Okay, so this um, is actually um, wedding souvenir. Miriam got married the week that I had surgery done. And I was supposed to attend, but then I couldn't. And she sent this to my house. Oh, my darling, thank you so much. Oh, ah, I have a new water bottle. Wahawa, for who no go this wedding. But look at, thank you, my darling Mira. God bless your home. So happy for you. I think that that's it for now. You guys don't want to see what the floor looks like. <laughs> look at. <laughs> I'm going to try to um, clear this mess. I got my nails done yesterday i kept them really simple because i didn't want to sit for too long so no color whatsoever just colored gel with um some glitter so i want to attempt to do some grocery shopping i've not left the house in three weeks um this is my first time leaving the house outside of the doctor's appointment that i had one week after i was discharged but i want to see if i can cook some things like guys like i'm very particular about what i've been eating this period and at a point i tried to just like order food like healthy food from somewhere and i don't know like one of the things that i ate last week actually made 
last week rough for me because my system just did not like it at all so i'm going to try and see if i can just maybe have some control i'm not going to cook anything stressful but maybe just get ingredients that will help me eat reasonable things i guess So today, um, I have a photo shoot. Um, this shoot was supposed to be my birthday shoot. I was supposed to um, take these pictures about four days before my birthday and then, you know, I fell ill and I had to do surgery. But then I had already made a down payment to the photographer and I was like, I still want to take this picture regardless and post it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, try and take things easy so I'll not be doing my own makeup shocker this is going to be the second time ever that someone has ever done my makeup I'll show you guys how it goes but I'm very very excited And I was about to go lie down, but then I was like, yeah, I think I want to wear this makeup out. So this will be my first time actually going out proper proper. I just spoke to Jola, so I think that me and Jola are going to go somewhere to have dinner. And then I'll come back and wash this off. I'm really tired, but I just feel like this makeup cannot go to waste. 
right i really like it arika did such a good job um I'm, i tend to be uncomfortable sometimes around makeup artists and like i was very comfortable around her like even before she started i knew deep in my heart that she knew what she was doing and i'm going to love what she would do and i really love it so going to eat and then come back home i don't want to stay out too late Good morning. Um, I think I'm going to end this vlog here and start working on another one. This was just my first attempt trying to vlog. Uh, at first I was worried that I might not even be able to vlog anything. That I'll get tired in between all of that. But then it's been okay. It's been really okay since I started. So I'm going to end this vlog today. So just a quick update on the yogurt. Yogurt. <laughs> that I got from the store when I went grocery shopping. So this one is coconut yogurt, right? It, um, it says Koyo Organic Coconut Milk Yogurt Alternative. And this one is almond milk yog. I think it's called Nash Dairy Free Almond Milk Yog. Um, this one is natural. They had this about four flavors. I saw chocolate, I saw strawberry, I saw vanilla, and then there was natural, right? And I really wanted to get the natural. And I looked at the dates, they all had the same use by dates, but for some reason, the strawberry was going for 1,000. These things are small, I'm just telling you guys, just FYI, how much product do you have in here? About 125 grams. And so the strawberry was going for 1,000, but then the other three flavors were going for 3,000 Naira. And that was what I initially showed you guys, and I found that insane. So I was not asking why is there a price difference? They are the same products, everything, the same brand, just different flavors. And they said, oh, that they tend to discount stuff sometimes um, when it's close to the use by date. And I'm like, they all have the same use by date. So why? So why was one flavor cheaper than the rest? I love Hartley's, by the way. It's like my, one of my favorite places to shop. Like it's one of those places where you know that you would find rare items there at a reasonable price. So compared to some other supermarkets on the island where you go to get unique items, Hartley's, their prices, I find it very reasonable. So what I wanted to do before ending this vlog is to taste these and tell you guys what I think. Just compare the way that they taste. So I'll start with the strawberry one. If you've been following me for a very long time, you know that strawberry is literally my, my least favorite flavor of anything. I actually prefer the taste of strawberry, the fruit, than, for, than strawberry flavored things. And that's the reason why I tried really hard to see if I can get any other flavor aside strawberry. But strawberry was the only cheap one that they had there. It smells like yogurt. And the consistency is very yogurt-ish. So let me try this, just one spoon. It tastes like, it tastes like yogurt. I, that, that whole sour, like tang you get with yogurt, this one has it. The only thing I would say about this is that I can still taste the strawberry. Um, it has the yogurt taste that I like, but then it's really heavy on the coconut um, flavor. So let me try the almond milk one. The almond milk one is natural. I actually wanted to just get natural for the two. Almond milk generally doesn't have a very strong like flavor, right? Very thick. I don't like the smell. This one was much cheaper. Mm, it was like 2000 something. It's sad-ish. I see where they're going with this, but then it's very nutty. So I can taste the almond nuts. Um, it smells worse than it tastes, to be honest. 
it's sad but i would never like confuse this for you god but this one in particular like if you give me this without telling me what it was like i'll just eat it and be like oh this yogurt it's nice but then it tastes like strongly like coconut like this it gets away with the whole dairy free yogurt thing like it actually does a good job trying to mimic yogurt this one if you gave me this without telling me that it was yogurt i'll ask you what this is what is it pretending to be Ugh. Mm -hmm. yeah i'll try and use them but if you want to get um dairy free yogurt and you go to hartley's and you see nosh and you see koyo right just go for koyo that's my advice my own humble opinion i hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog give it a thumbs up if you liked it and thank you so much guys for all the thoughtful messages that you guys keep sending across i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one mm -hmm.